beautiful people my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel so today is like a video I wanted to do because um, as I said in a previous video Cortland and I are planning on moving at the beginning of September so I want to go ahead and start like because it's already mid-July okay and I don't like to procrastinate I like to have a plan I like to know what we're doing I want to go ahead and start packing a few things up and decluttering my entire house as possible I just did my makeup declutter series for July I will leave all three of those videos link down below for you but today we're gonna be decluttering my closet like you know I wear black dresses that is what I wear um and then I have a lot of them I kind of just reach for the same ones over and over again so I need to just like condense if I'm not wearing it all the time I don't feel like it fits my body properly I'm not gonna wait till I like lose weights I'm not gonna like hope I can fit into this someday think oh maybe there's an occasion for this I'm gonna try to condense my close down and actually have like a smaller selection so without any further ado you guys let's go ahead and get started I don't know how the angle is gonna be in this video um because it's in my bedroom my bedroom doesn't have the best lighting so we will see but I will do my best all right welcome to Cortland and I's closet this is my half here um oh it also I mean this is a okay angle but let me show you the weird setup we have in this apartment which is another reason why we want to leave like okay so let's see if I can show you properly this is our closet. It's a mess, I know, but the room leads straight to the bathroom. So you have to go from the bedroom, which is our bedroom, to the hallway to the bathroom. But it's not a private bathroom because if I go this way, it's the same bathroom. So you can either go the normal way or it wants to pretend that it's a private bathroom, but you go through the hallway to get there. So when we sleep with the wind, the Closet open like we always do so the cats can get to the litter box. I look at the toilet when I wake up every morning. And that's just not it. That's just not the vibe. <laughs> but let's do the clothing decluttering now. I look like crap. I have been so depressed um, and stressed out and stuff. And also I've been working on my shop a lot instead of like filming videos like ahead. So I'm just been off and I really wanted to film a video where it's okay for me not to wear makeup today. And I wanted to do this, so it works. There's a bunch of clothes up there. We'll bring some of them down. My wedding dress is also just shoved up there. Um, yeah, but this is the majority of my clothes. As you can tell, I wear a lot of black. I'm wearing this velvety dress right now, which is like a go-to errand dress for me. And I knew I wasn't gonna declutter it, so there's that. So firstly, we have an Ivy Road little dress with like this round zipper situation. It makes me feel kind of like, like a mom. So I don't love this dress, but it's a good throw on to go to Aaron's dress. So I'm going to put it. Oh, look, we can see the rest of the closet. I'm going to put it in the back. So I'll make a pile. I will make a pile of two, you know, keep and a maybe. And then like a, a declutter pile, obviously. So this side also has clothes on it, so I'm just going to put the declutter over there. This one's going to go in the maybe back pile back here. Let's move on. So next up I have this beautiful dress from Nick Vintage. It was in their Halloween section. I love it. I'm so keeping that. A lot of the ones in the front I'll probably keep because they're the ones I wear and I put back. The ones in the back over there are the ones I don't wear as often, typically. I love... Oh wait, this needs to be a yes. <laughs> I love this dress. It's from Dress Lily. It has the off the shoulder sleeves. I do have the same one from Dress Lily in a regular sleeve, not an off the shoulder sleeve, but I will be decluttering that one because I like this one more. So let me go ahead and grab the other one. Yeah, I have the same dress, but it's just regular on the shoulder. I like the off the shoulder better, so I'll declutter this one. That's our first get rid of. Next, I will get rid of this bat dress. It still has a tag on. I never wore it. I tried it on and I just, it has no sleeves and like, I like the off the shoulder sleeves, but something that has like nothing, it just shows all my armpit, I don't love. So I'm going to part ways with this one as well. All my two part and ways are the black and white ones so far. I love black and white. I have one like black and colorful dress. It has the dinosaurs on it. It is an off the shoulder sleeve situation, so I will keep this. Those are just very super comfortable for me. I'm also going to be keeping this spider web one with this cute little collared moment it's like a little collar 
it looks like it's adorable i'll keep that i don't think it fits me very well i don't live for it but Cortland always thinks i look super cute wearing it and it's comfortable so it's worth it i'm keeping this one from killstar love her i also really like this one from dressily as well it's called the dress foe and it has little bats on the moment a cute little collar the only issue is like twice when i've been out this zipper isn't very good so it's like opened on me but you know usually i'm never by myself i don't like to leave the house by myself so i have someone fix it um, next up this one's getting kind of tight on me to be honest but it's this really high neck collar short dress i'm gonna keep her again a lot of the front i'm gonna keep the ones in the back we will be purging more this is the Oof. I forgot the name of this. Oh, there's something on it. Okay, I need to wash this apparently. It's it's a kill star dress. I forgot the name of oh, it's like it's call me father or something. I don't know. I'm gonna wash that, but I'm keeping that. And since there's more light this way, I'm gonna open the door, but there, there's the keep pile right now. So next up we have this beautiful dress from Collective. Love her. She's staying. A lot of these dresses that I like like this that have the vintage look have a belt built in and have the belt loops. I hate that. This one doesn't. So she is beautiful and I paid a lot of money for her at a local like retro and goth store called Subculture here in Jacksonville. Another one that I got here was this Jawbreaker dress. This beautiful spidery lapel. This one does have a built in belt but it fits me so snug that I don't mind it. This dress is super cute not on the hanger correctly it's super cute but it's very tight on me so it's just this little black dress has a little baby off the sleeve shoulder off the shoulder sleeve and like a little thing in here i'm gonna keep it for now put it in the baby pile i do like this dress but uh my tummy's a little tight in it so that'll go in the maybe pile for now next up was one of my wedding dress options this is my first original wedding dress option. Still the tag on, I haven't worn it yet, but I love her. She's staying, she's beautiful. I love Killstar's clothing, even though like, I feel like their sizing's a little bit iffy, you know? I see people on their websites like, this model's wearing a large, I'm like, that girl is not a large, ma'am, <laughs> at all. Next up, I love this dress. It is from Dark in Love. It has a built-in, it's inside out. Why are all my clothes hung the wrong way? I swear I'm not this messy. <laughs> It has an in, oh, I probably, okay, you know, I was probably drinking when I last wore this because it's like a good going out dress and I probably just threw it off of me inside out, but it has a built-in harness and it's very pretty. So I'm keeping her a little bit tight, does show some armpit fat, but she's too cute not to keep. This one I'm going to part ways with. I never even wore this actually. So it is a dress lily dress, really cute, but too stiff in my opinion, considering I have this beautiful collective dress. That looks kind of like it. This one's a little too big for me, so I will be parting ways with this one, but she's very pretty. But like if I had more boobage, it would fill it out more, but I just don't. I have this dress right here, which has spiders on it and it's red. But I also have it <laughs> just thrown up top because apparently I like ran errands in it and I didn't feel like putting it away again, so I just threw it at the top of the closet. I have it in black as well. So this dress is one of those that is kind of tighter on me, but I still really adore it. I'm gonna keep the black one. I will part ways with the red one just because I wore it once and I felt really awkward wearing color out of my house. So I'm just gonna hang the black one back up. I, I don't mind if things are black and white and I don't mind a little bit of color because I have that dinosaur dress, but I just don't wear like a solid color. I love this dress. It is from Unique Vintage as well. It has little kitty cats on it, keeping her. Next up, I love this dress. It's from Dressily and I thought it was so cute but then the one time I tried to wear the house my husband was like it kind of looks like a nightgown so I never wore it but it's, it has cute bats on it it's very lacy still has a tag on it um it has an off the shoulder little tiny baby sleeve I do kind of see because it doesn't have any shape to it it's just a flowy down why it could be seen as like a nightgown and stuff but I love the bat and moon bat and moon pattern on it it's so pretty I'm gonna I'm gonna try to like wear her Especially if we like something casual, you know, like it's okay to wear something a little not fit or something. I think it's me cute. Noodle is like Anubis, I call him Noodle, is looking at me with like a full head tilt right now, like confused. Like he doesn't see me film things every day. 
Next up, I never wore this either, so I'm going to part ways with it. It has a skull pattern on the skirt. Built-in little harness moment. Cute, but obviously I didn't wear it, so. Condensing down. I love this unique vintage dress with the cranes on it. I was craving this for so, 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 so long, and it finally went on sale, so I picked it up, and no regrets. It is gorgeous. Next up, I have this beautiful pinup dress. It's one from Dressalik like two years ago, but I still adore it. Keeping her. I like vintage inspired dresses or something that has like a little bit of a casual or a fetish feel to it. Like I like built-in harnesses and stuff, or like lace, um, or vintagey looking. So, I don't know. <laughs> Next up, this one I think is too tight for me now. But look, she's got lace down the whole back, or almost the whole back side. She's got lacy, like, you know, moments. I think she's too tight. So, I'm going to put this in the maybe. I'll try it on and see if it fits me or not. Next up, we have this beautiful dress from, again, La Dress Lily. Because, you know, I'm on a budget. But... <laughs> Um, apparently I took the tag off, but never took this off, so I don't think I wore it. it. Has this beautiful, like, neck thing in the front, but I'm just gonna part ways. That isn't, that isn't call to me. Next up, this one also is too big in the bustier area, so I'm gonna part ways with it, but it is very cute. And it's only a large, I just don't, I just think it opens up too much, and it's too revealing for me. Also, I don't know if you can see down there, there's like a huge... Dance Dance Revolution mat for our PlayStation 2. Uh, this dress right here I think is really pretty. It has like mesh. I don't even know if you can tell because I have so much black in this closet how I'm showing you things. It has mesh and the sleeves are mesh. I had to I had like knots that were not tieable so I had to cut them off. So I kind of cut the thing off and there's cut slices in it. But I'm going to hold on to this for now because it does look good. She's not the most comfortable. Like the thing about the mesh, it's a little rough. Next up, this doesn't fit me, and I know I said I was getting rid of clothes that don't fit me, girl, but oh my god. It's really not as tiny as it looks. I just kind of fold in the back because I cinched the belt. Look at this Halloween cat dress. I love her. She's not going anywhere. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. She's so cute. It's a large. I needed an extra large, but they were out, and this was on, like, sale sale. It was, like, $25. I had to have it. Next up, this is new... Uh, it is from Magnolia Park. I don't remember what brand it is. I think it's Unique Vintage as well. It's too tight. It makes this whole area look like cons constricted. So I'm going to try to sell this one. I still have the tag on everything. She's beautiful. It just doesn't fit right. And I don't think I'll ever fit into it properly. Like this is a medium. Yeah, this is a medium. I would just, I, I had to have it because I'm in love with it. The lime green and black was just like calling my name, but <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's pull down these things. Oh, uh, no, don't. I don't want all of you. I don't want all of you. Okay. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's my uh, second wedding dress option. So pretty. I actually wore this already. So it's the high neck moment I was going to wear for my wedding. It has like the full lace sleeveys. It is just gorgeous. Another kill star moment. I had to have her. She is staying 100% forever. I'm never decluttering her. All right. So next up, we have this moment. Now it kind of smells like tires because this is like a faux leather that kind of has like a fragrance even though I've washed it. And then the bottom has this. Now when you wear this, it isn't like a regular like up top kind of deal. You wear it. You have these little straps and then this is the off the shoulder we have an off the shoulder wing situation, which they always stick out straight. So it's like, whew, whew. very nice. Very like, you need an occasion to wear it. This is a great Halloween shopping dress. And it's very comfortable because it's a very like, kind of heavy material, but has some like give. So that one's good. I look super fat in this. You can just see my huge fat arm. Okay. Next up, the It's Your Funeral Kill Star dress. I did for last year's Halloween haul I did. I haven't worn this dress just because I'm kind of insecure about my belly, but it does fit me and it's not too overly short, so I will be keeping this moment right now, this this girl's moment. Next up, I love this, um, but she's too tight for me now, so I'm going to put it in the maybe because I'm going to try it on make sure it's too tight for me. 
I just think it is, but you know, we'll see. This gorgeous moment with the big sleeves and this lace thing goes up to your throat. So it's like a lace, lace throat moment. And then this is all off the shoulder sleeves. I'm keeping her. I need to wear her more. But she was starting to get kind of worn out from wearing her constantly. So I kind of laid off so the fabric wouldn't like be the worst. But she's cute. She's cute. This one I'm going to part ways with. I got this is a like work at Ulta day dress. I don't work there anymore. So this is another. I do not. <laughs> shop as much as it looks like. I've had these things for quite a while, you guys. Don't think I just shop all the time because I do not have the money for that. This is another Killstar dress. I need to hang it from these little strappies because I don't want to stretch the neck out. But it is another Killstar moment. So it's this tight, cinched in waist with a couple buttons and it flares out with tulle under the bottom. It's like a big fluffy tulle moment, which makes your waist look smaller. This one's super tight. I need help to zip it up. But it also has this cute little collar deal, super frilly. And then with the tool under the bottom, very feminine, very cute. She cute. So far I've gotten rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dresses. Ten's pretty good. And then I have three in the maybe pile. Okay. Also, I don't I know you can't see my floor, but literally what I wear at home <laughs> is literally just I just reach in this bucket of big men's t-shirts. Like I just order like 2x t-shirts and stuff. And that's all I wear at home. So I don't I don't need that many clothes to go out because realistically I might leave the house once a week. Twice a week, maybe. Tops. And that's only if like Cortland needs to do errands or something after he gets off work or on a Saturday. I don't like to leave the house. <laughs> so I don't need this many clothes. Like condensed. Here. Let's condense you so you don't look like as many. Let's just spread out. This is what I have. That's really not bad at all. Let's see what you are. Oh, okay. So this is just a simple black everyday, nothing special dress. But I have this simple everyday, nothing special dress because I have a couple of these things. So I have a couple collar capelet deals. And I'll just pick this place, basic dress, put on a capelet and some cute like fishnet tights. It makes a whole moment. I will declutter this bat one though, because it's it's just a little too small. So I'll declutter this one. I'll keep the the spider web. The spider web moment. And this is just my wedding dress. So this I don't feel like is gonna be anything fancy. It is my unique vintage wedding dress. It's literally been up there since the wedding because I haven't touched it. Um, I think I'm actually just gonna throw it back up there because I don't have a hanger that's strong enough to hold this at the moment so she's gonna stay there next up this is a two-part thing so it's a cute little green top and some suspenders and a skirt never wear it i literally only wear dresses or big t-shirts at home so i don't have any interest in putting an outfit together for being fair here uh next up this one i thought was super pretty because it's just a simple you know, off the shoulder kind of moment dress, but the bottom has this beautiful lace, um, but I never wore it because I think it looks too nightgowny, so it can go. Next up, this has a beautiful, again, built-in harness and stuff, but these don't stay closed. Like they kind of just sit kind of loose. So I'm going to part ways with her, even though I do like this big open neck thing. It's cute, but not wearing it. Okay. This is conflicting for me. I love this dress. It is so comfortable. I love the lace or whatever you want to call this. It's not lace, the see-through. But last time I wore this, someone thought I was pregnant and I'm fucking not. So I have to declutter it because I feel like if I wear it, people are looking at my stomach. So it's not. And it's really just the fact that this, this singe in the center here is just a little bit tall for me. My waist is very, my, my torso is very elongated. So no 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 this dress is very tight on me i actually had to cut a slit in the bottom of the sleeve just because the arms were very tiny but you can't see it when i'm wearing it and it's one i need help to get into from unique vintage halloween section last year but it is staying because 
even if I need help to get into it, I can still get into it and look cute as fuck. So there's that. Just don't invite me to go eat afterwards or during the wearing of the dress because I can't. <laughs> um, this one's cute with the moons on the bottom, but I don't wear it so it can go. This um, is navy. I thought it was black. It's navy. So I haven't worn it, but it has a cute capelet. But she's going to go because she's navy blue and it just, just it doesn't sit right with me. <laughs> it just doesn't. The black and white polka dots are so much cuter. Okay. Next up we have this beautiful, this is the sleeve. It just hangs all beautifully, whimsically. And it has a longer bottom to the skirt in the back. Not very form-fitting, not very flattering, but I love a huge wingy thing. So she can stay. I actually need to move her closer up so I will wear her more often. Next up, this dress. I think it's super pretty. And I like it. It's kind of a stiffer material. It's more like heavy duty and nice. But it's kind of short on me. So I can't wear it. <laughs> she's kind of short, but she's cute. Next up, this dress is absolutely gorgeous. But it's too small. I never even got the chance to wear it. I tried it on. It's gorgeous. It's, look how, it's, it's a short little flirty moment too with a nice wrap, but it's too, it's just not happening. All right, last bit here. We're moving down to this last little section. This is looking pretty good. Like this is the, this is like all the clothes that I have to wear out and it looks okay. Like it's not too bad. This dress is very, very tight for me. I wore it for my most popular TikTok. No, that's the second most popular TikTok now. I love her. She's tight but I can get in it so that means I get to keep her like if I lose a little bit of weight she is gonna be that moment you guys so pretty okay I don't care for this she's going I don't know why I bought that this dress I got from a play-doh's closet it is super cute it has the spirited away mask thing on the bottom I love this little I love little fake collars maybe that's why I love vintage clothes so much this one's staying all right so this one is very much like the last one i just showed with the bigger sleeves that i moved to the front with the spiders on it but she a little big on the top side so she can go don't need that i have the same dress that i had in the white in yellow i'm gonna keep the black and white one i'll get rid of the yellow one this cute cable though look how cute so cute okay Next up, this is a medium kill star frowny face dress. I never wore it because it did not fit me. Because it's a medium. I didn't, it was like my first kill star purchase. I didn't know what size I needed from them. Not medium. <laughs> not medium. It's a cute little skater moment though. Uh, this dress is so pretty. Why must something happen to it? It's a beautiful formal moment. Um, but I don't go to formal events. So she can go too. I was holding out like one day I'll have a chance to wear that dress and it's been two years and I haven't <laughs> this dress I don't like it can go I mean I liked how vintage it looked online and stuff but like arm pity no this dress is colorful you guys will be like why do you even have this <sighs> I I love it I was stalking this online forever before I decided to purchase it it says it's from the brand Lulu's I got it from collectives website I think Look at her. She's a short moment. She's like a really thin with like a, a slit built inside and then like these groovy sleeves and the high neck. I was just thinking she was going to be the cutest 70s, no not 70s, more like 60s moments. And I've never worn it because I've never needed the 60s moments. And now the more I look at it, the more I don't love it anymore. So I'm going to try to sell it. <laughs> She's so cute though. So cute okay next up this dress when i was just moved down to florida and i was trying to like date people i didn't know it was okay to like try to be you know be regular edgy so i got this it still has a tag on it it was 17 dollars, and she gonna go because i never wore her and i don't wear maxi dresses keeping her keeping her she's from dolls kills several years ago don't judge me but so cute okay i also have this one which i wore as a panelist at the Supercon in Raleigh four years ago. So this is four years old. That one's four years old too, the green one. But I wore these both on the same day. I wore this to a Panic at the Disco concert. Panic at the Disco concert. I wore this to the Comic Cons. So that was like a 
busy day for me but if I want colorful things I have two options and I just tried this on for a video I still kind of fit it tops a little tight it's a little short um, this one I do fit so that's cute this is my Morticia dress it has like a little it's from Express it's a it's like a little bit of boobage shape and little flary sleeves it makes my hips look weird I do not fit it perfectly but it's a cute costume dress and she's staying you know, what if I want to dress up as vampire or something? Back here, I just have two things. I have this floral moment. She's very pretty, very flirty. I'm going to keep her as like a girly moment. And then I have this giant 2X Cthulhu sweater. I've never worn it. It still has a tag on it, but she he's handsome. I like oversized stuff, but I'll never... I, I mean... I kind of expected Florida winters to be worse than they were. It's more like snuggle up in a blanket, not drown yourself in a giant sweater. But I'm going to hold on to this because it's super fucking cool. Super cool. All right, so let me collect. So this is all the clothing that I'm keeping. The things in the baby pile, I will just part ways with because I wasn't in love. This is all the clothing that I have now. Not too bad. And I decluttered 26 dresses. 26 that's pretty good you guys i deleted color 26 i kept 32 but i also did not count my maybes in my declutter pile so probably about like 29 and i kept 32 that's pretty good that's like half my wardrobe that's so good i'm so proud of myself and i'm also keeping the one i'm wearing too but anyways thank you guys so much you guys want to see a part two of all my like big oversized t-shirts and everything let me know i feel like this was really fulfilling i did better than i thought i mean now i'm kind of worried i don't have anything to wear but I have plenty to wear. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you later. Bye.